Hey everyone! Get my computer set up while I wait for you guys to get on live. Let's see here. Everything's working good so far. Here we are. Looks like I got one person in the room. Two. Wait for more people to get in the room and then I'll get everything set up. You can see all these boxes behind me. It's a mess. Hi, hon. How you doing? Let me go grab my tablet as you can see the mess behind me. <laughs> Just waiting for you guys to get on live. Look at it. I'm in my pajamas and a pretty dress shirt at the same time. <laughs> Clever, huh? <laughs> Figured might as well be comfy when I'm doing my crafts. What are you up to today, hon? <laughs> this is just one side of the mess. <laughs> oh gosh. It is. Wear your pajamas so you can only see half of me live. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, hun. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Oh, well, I'm cutting fabrics and filling boxes as usual. Hi, Nancy. How you doing? <laughs> well, I figured I'd spend some of this Sunday, um, a good hour of my time to see how everyone's doing, telling you guys uh, my next goals. Um, I'm going to be bringing out my sewing machines. Um, those who are curious on how to use one, I love to help out. So I'll be scheduling some time uh, one day every week for the next month where we can um, hang out, bring out the sewing machine, um, teach pretty much. You know, that's what I specialize in. That's how I started my Etsy business was um, sewing. So, um, yeah, I have a few sewing machines. I'll bring out a few and, you know, um, I have a Faf, I have a Brothers, um, I think Singer, but um, help you guys get your, your things set up. A lot of you haven't even brought your sewing machines out of your boxes, but I figured, you know, you guys buy some products for me. Still good, you know, still, you know, get them out of those boxes, get them plugged in, get your manuals out because, um, I like to schedule some live events um, here throughout. Uh, make sure you like um, when I'm live so then it helps out bring more people to see this. Because I want this event, yeah, same with you, Nancy. I would like to bring out some pieces, you know, for you guys to learn how to sew. Start from the basics, you know, put a needle in, how to thread your bobbin, how to, you know, get you started. And then I'll bring, I'll open up one of these, let's say, one of these bundles of fabrics and um because you guys have purchased from me so maybe bring out one of your fabric bundles say the bohemian one um it's back there somewhere um hi karen how you doing but to bring out your sewing machines um if not get a sewing machine um the cool thing about being live is that you guys could play back later and know what to do step by step and i love to teach you free classes pretty much and uh how to work with your bohemian fabrics. What kind of needle should you use? You know, um, what kind of thread you should use when you're sewing your junk journal covers, those kind of things. So while I'm waiting for people to get in the room, I figure we'll discuss this a little bit. <laughs> yeah, learning how, like you said, zigzag stitch, learning how to stitch straight, learning, hi Cindy, how you doing? I'm glad you got to get on. Um, Learning how, why is my threading, you know, not right when it's, when I'm sewing on a piece of fabric? Why is it bubbling on one side and nice underneath? Why is it not going through the fabric? Hi, Nan. How you doing? At least you're on, Nan. That's all that matters. I was just talking about um, starting some sewing classes for you guys and eventually get you guys to the point where you can use, know how to quilt something um, in a quilted fashion, learning how to... Uh, Yes, you said it right, Karen. 
those who are worried about why is my threading not right and all that, it's all about the tension on your gauges. So I would love to teach you guys how to thread your needle, get the right thread, get the right needle, get the right tension set up on your machine so you don't have to be throwing your sewing machines out the window. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> hey, Corrine, how you doing? Yeah, I think uh, there's so many, you know, things online to learn, but wouldn't it be nice to go live? You guys get your machines, at least get your machines plugged in. Yes, tension is the worst. It's tension and, and it's the stitching gauge and all that. Yeah, that is the biggest thing. Well, mind you, you guys are not working. Hi, Corrine, how you doing? Uh, with different fabrics, like these are cotton. Um, like for instance, your Bohemian kits, you're working with uh, silks, you're working with, there's different needles, different threads for those things. Hi, Terry, I'm glad you're on. We're talking about sew machines and needles and um, how I was waiting for more people to get in the room so then I could talk about, you know, um, starting classes for you guys. Starting from the basics. I know a lot of you guys know how to sew with your machines. But wouldn't it be nice to start from the basics? You can ask me questions here live. I can answer the best I can. It may take a slower process for that to happen, but maybe all of us in the room can help each other out. I mean, I know the basics and I know all the other stuff as well. So um, I would love to start from scratch for you guys to teach you. So you guys are not fearful on how to sew on paper or fearful, how do I quilt? something so I can make my own junk journal cover that looks like granny squares or straight lines or, you know, strips, um, different patterns, you know, how to get you comfortable enough to use your machine without, um, without worrying about buying products like fabrics and pieces to do your own junk journals. You know, a lot of people avoid it. They'd rather purchase an item and then make it that way than to uh, make it yourself but I love to teach you how to use your machine because <laughs> I want to get you guys ready because there's other people, which I'll throw Kristen's name out there because you guys know I love Kristen. I talk about her a lot. Um, she's going to be starting some kind of different courses as well. I'm not going to burst her bubble on what she's going to be doing, but um, at least get you guys prepared on getting your machines ready because there's a lot of people out there who are going to start sharing how to, you know, what you can make, but, you know, I know a lot of you guys are afraid to do it. So if anything I could teach you guys is to teach you how to be comfortable with your machine, knowing how to set it up, not how to use it, know how to use your freaking zigzag stitch <laughs> and using a variety of uh, threads. Uh, I'll read your guys' feeds here in a minute. But uh, knowing what kind of, oh, do I use polyester thread? Do I use a cotton thread um, to get you set up? Yeah, well, let's get started, peoples. Get your machines off, dust them off. Hey, Candy, how you doing? It's okay, you're not late. I'm just rambling, talking about um, sewing machines. Get your sewing machines out because we're going to get started to get them set up because I know there are some people, which I'll throw out a name, Kristen, is going to want to get you guys started um, on some different like classes and you need to get your machines ready and I'd like to get you comfortable with your machines. Get your machines out, please. So within a week, I'm going to start going live and we all can help each other out, you know, give each other advice because each one of us has different kinds of machines. Some have singers, some have brothers, some have Foth, some have, you know, like my favorite one's my Foth, you know, I just love German made machines. But um, let me read your feeds. <laughs> okay. Um, hello ladies. Hi Nancy. Hi Cindy, of course. Hi Julie. Hi Karen. I love the thumbs up. I love the high fives. I agree. Let's get comfortable with our machines. It's nice seeing others do it. I know you guys could do it. I mean, heck, I could do it. You could do it. <laughs> and you know, normally you guys know me as the person who sells you items. I sell you fabrics and, and ephemera. I sell you laces and all that stuff. But it'd be nice that now I could start teaching you what I love that you can incorporate in your junk journal world. And do I look fuzzy? Curious. Yes, and to be honest with you, I am not, see, I'm new at something here. Of course, I don't make journals, but I have never sewn on paper, unless it was parchment paper. So it's gonna be a, a lesson for myself as well. 
I mean, I know how to use my tension and my threading and stuff, so maybe you guys could teach me something as well. But I do know how to get you started. Hey, Candy, what's new? All right, so what am I missing? Uh, I use my machine. Luckily, customers don't find the crazy stitches, but... <laughs> Well, let's get past the uncomfortable feeling of making stitches and hoping no one notices. So I like to teach you how to do your stitch work um, and love your machine. So um, let's see here. And maybe we can share each other's little examples and, and projects as well. No reason to be scared. And that is why, Candy, you need to get your machine out. Not only Candy, but many of you guys I'm talking to today. You guys understand what I'm saying here. I don't have my machine in front of me. There's no fear. Hey, Kristen, we're talking about sew machines, waiting for some more people to come up here. Like this page, like this thing, because I want you guys to be able to get more notifications whenever I go live. Um, yeah, so I'm encouraging you guys. I know today is not really about sew machines, but I want to at least talk about that until um, I could drill it in your heads. Get your machines out, dust them off, oil them up. Well, some you don't oil, so make sure you read your instructions. Um, plug them in, get them started, get some pieces of fabric out. Um, when I go live with that, I want to teach you guys things you do need. You know, we'll get you started because Kristen's on. Hey, Kristen. I'm talking about sew machines, getting your machines out. A lot of us are fearful um, to sew in the junk journal world. I know I sew with the, uh, the quilting crafting world, so it's new to me to do papers, but I would like to get them set up, getting comfortable with their sew machines because Kristen, I'm kind of like throwing a ball in her court eventually here, is going to eventually have some really cool things she has in store for you guys. So um, in order to do some of those things, it's important to start getting comfortable with your machines. Um, if anything, I can teach you guys is how to get comfortable with your machine. So get them out. If you don't have a machine, check out there. I mean, Walmart, heck, has them like 40, 50 bucks. You can get them on sale. And here's another great hint. Hi, everyone. I'll read the feeds here in a second. Those who go to Walmart, you know, you get that app for your phone. It's called the Walmart Saving Catchers app. Here's the thing maybe a lot of you guys don't understand is every time you get a receipt from Walmart, you can scan that receipt with that savers app that you have on your phone and it returns you to you know any type of sales that they find in your area and puts that money back in your bank. Hey Meredith, speaking of Meredith, Meredith, remind me, stay in the house here because I want to introduce everyone to Meredith here. Hi Meredith. We're talking about sew machines. But anyways, back to the Walmart savings catcher. Every time you scan that receipt, it puts money into your savings account there on, on um, Walmart's app. And then it adds up, you know, you don't have to spend it. And then you can use that money towards anything at Walmart. So just maybe a helpful thing. Those who say, oh, I can't afford a sewing machine. That's not true. I mean, if you can go to Walmart, like a lot of people here, get that app, upload it on your phone and start scanning your receipts. Because then all those rewards you save up, that will provide you a sewing machine. Just a helpful thought. Yeah, the brothers with 60, 70 bucks at Walmart. But like for instance, like this year I started my savings catcher rewards on my on my uh, phone. I think I'm like 30, 40 bucks. You know, you could instantly use that money towards a machine. So rummage sales, garage sales, machines are like 10 bucks. I would love to help you get you set up. So all right, I'm gonna read the feeds now. What am I missing here? So don't forget. Those, I want to remind you guys about Meredith. Meredith, this is in the house. I'm going to introduce a, a person who's going to be eventually new on Etsy. So um, thank you, Meredith, for showing up. All right, I'm reading the feeds. I'm looking through here. Don't mind the messy room back there. That is uh, all these boxes there are bits and pieces. These here, I'm clearing up my tables because we got the Bohemian uh, bundles that those who purchase are going out to think tomorrow or the day after that I got to fill the boxes up with. I'll read the feeds. Hey, no reason to be afraid of machines. Bring them out because I'm telling you within a week I'm going live and I want to get you guys started on your machines. Let's get comfortable here. Wear your pajamas like I am. <laughs> Coffee or have a drink. <laughs> Oh, Cindy's going to have a shop open on Etsy as well. I'm reading the feeds here. 
Yes, Meredith, there's no reason to be afraid of your machine. Now, I'm going to speak with about Meredith here in a minute. Kristen, are you still in the house? I hope I didn't say, uh, I didn't want to say too much about your plans, but I at least wanted to get everyone started bringing their machines out. I want to at least teach people how to get their machines set up. Did you hear when I said that? I don't know if you're here, there, or anywhere, babe. Um, <laughs> yeah, if my room is messy, you're right, Corrine. That means that's more stuff out there, like that behind my head there. Those are, I think I have five of the retro junk journals left. Um, that's with those papers sticking out there. Um, so yeah, trying to. Drink or pajamas are good, too. <laughs> There's no reason, Julie, to be afraid of your machine. So let me help you. I mean, we'll find a day. I think Sundays are good days. One day a week, get started, get your machine, teach, just plug it in. And all of us can help each other out. We're live. We're, see, each one of us are talking to each other in a feeds. Um, we can do this. Give each other advice. I think helping each other out is all that matters. So, all right, Kristen, yep. I can hear you saying it, yep. <laughs> yeah, because I wanted to start with the Bohemian uh, bundles, um, the retro fabrics that I'm going to introduce here in a minute. I like to bring those out and then teach you guys how to sew with them. You know, what needles, what threads, what kind of, you know, tension on your sew machine. Plug the thing in. See if it works. <laughs> Oh, um, okay. I'm going to read the feeds here. So I'm going to read the feeds. I'm going to bring the camera down so I can read the feeds and show you what I got here. All right. Show you this. And I was going to show you guys what is in the retro junk journal kit. Like I said, I have like five left. So I'm just going to put these guys in the picture here as I read your feeds. All right, Candy, Kristen, Cindy, what am I missing here? Uh, wine. Yes. White wine for me, please. Moscato. I love it sweet. Um, perfect. Plug that thing in, hun. Yes. Get it, dust it off. I suggest my husband, he gets the um, air compressor and air compresses it out because sometimes of that fa uh, fabric and gets all up in there. Do not use oil. Most machines, you do not use oil. Just saying. Um, Thank you, Meredith. We're going to get back to Meredith here in a minute. I want to introduce you guys to Meredith. Those who are in the room, say hi to Meredith because I know we know Kamer we know Corrine, we know Cindy, we know uh, Kristen, we know Candy, we know Julie. Uh, I'm sure I'm missing someone here. Wendy. Um, hi, Wendy. Nan. We got V is in the house as well. So, Meredith, all these ladies here and more are here to help each other out. Now, those don't who don't know Meredith, I just met Meredith just recently. She is a leather person who works with leather making. She is self-taught. Um, if you get a chance, I don't know, Meredith, maybe, I don't know if they'll, uh, YouTube will let you in, in show anyone your personal information far as Etsy or YouTube, but um, she doesn't have her shop put together yet, but she's going to be new in the Etsy world here soon. Same thing, I think Cindy said the same thing as well, but she works with leather. And she makes the most amazing uh, junk journal leather covers. And wouldn't it be awesome to be friends with her people, and especially on the YouTube world, because maybe she could teach us something. There are so many beautiful leather journals out there. Um, I would love to know how people make them. And not only that, um, just where does she get the leather? You know, um, so let's all, you know, hey, Meredith, get to know Meredith, like Meredith. You know, follow her on YouTube as well, even though she may not have a YouTube thing set up. But one day she might. So let's get to know her. I want to know her. Yes, paper and leather. So she sent me some photos recently. I was pretty impressed. So I know. I love the smell of leather. <laughs> not a problem. Meredith, you're welcome anytime in this group. Again, um, there's one more request I have. Okay, I had everyone say hi to Meredith, but there is one more important thing for all of us because we know each other, right? We're getting to know each other, you know, what each other likes and all that. What's more important is that we like each other's YouTube page. Like, hey, there's Kristen. So, you know, all of us that are in a room right now, you could click on each other's cute little bubble you see up there in those little feeds. Click on each other's bubble. 
like each other's page and follow us because there's Kristen, there is uh, Wendy, there's Cindy, like Cindy's going to be opening up an Etsy soon. Follow and like their pages. Like while we're talking to feeds, click off of me, click on to them, subscribe to their channels because we're helping each other out. Right? So I encourage you, please, especially you're going to, you know, you'll get all the, you know, notifications when each one of us has something new to share. Yes, yeah, subscribe to each other. Let's just, hey, love each other. Let's feel the love. <laughs> no, I just started drinking, so don't think it's the drink. <laughs> no, we should help each other out, though. Especially, especially um, if we're going to go live, we need to help each other out and see what each other's got going. I want an old leather. <laughs> in paper art that she does, so... And Cindy, what is what you what are you gonna specialize in the junk journal world or crafts, art, supply? All right, I'm reading here. Um, well, I told you, Meredith, I was gonna do this, so I hope I didn't like surprise. <laughs> All right, so Cindy's gonna be doing junk journals, just like a lot of us. So um, I know Cindy, obviously through my Etsy page. Um, here on YouTube and I think on, on Facebook as well. But um, I've never really get to see what you do, Cindy. So it's going to be awesome to, you know, if I can help in any way. One, get comfortable with your sewing machine. Two, get comfortable with YouTube. We're not perfect, you know, but we are who we are. So get on live like I do or do a video so we can see each other what we do and we help each other. So... Sweet. Subscribe to each other. Please and thank you. Even if no one, not, even if we're not, you know, some of us don't have a YouTube thing we're doing. Get to know each other. Is what I'm saying. Yes, I agree. It's not about me. It's not about just one person in this room. It's about all of us. Even if we don't have an Etsy page. Even if we don't have a YouTube channel going on here. At least we could help follow each other. And uh, who knows where it might lead. Oh, my leg's going numb. Sorry, I had to get it out. <laughs> I'm trying to get up higher. Why am I doing that when I can adjust my camera? Lord have mercy on my soul. Oh, much better. All right, so what am I missing? All right, so we got more people in the room while I'm chat, chat, chatting along here. Yes, I so go ahead. Like each other, follow each other, subscribe to each other, like me, <laughs> please and thank you. Um, so everyone agrees, we like the idea of getting a sew machine set up. Um, if message me here um, on Etsy if you need help learning how to get a sew machine, the best way, what kind of sew machine you need, um, what's the best for your buck kind of thing. I'd love to help you out. Let's get you started. All right, so Wendy's channel, check out her fabulous boho journal, blah, blah, blah. Candy, I see that. So I'm not sure what it means, but why is it so dim on that message? It says it's held for a review. All right, I'm not buffering. I'm doing good today. Did you guys get that that name, the Arts Blah Arts uh, Arts the City Creation? She says she's K. So hey K. I have a cat named Katie K. <laughs> hey, is V still in the house? I'm not off. I'm still on. Corinne, can you see me okay? New York City. That's right. I think last time, Kay, you were on, you were saying that it's hard to find affordable things in New York City. Hey, Terry's. Looks like our house is getting full and looks like YouTube kicked us off and put us back on. They must not like all our chatter. You guys back on? How's Terry today? 
<laughs> hey Terry, just so you don't know, so you don't miss out here, I'm like, my head's up here. Uh, but we were just talking about, um, yeah, your phone died. My, my uh, screen froze. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's not used to all this chatter. <laughs> Oh my God, don't get me started on that giggle. That a giggle is uh, not a f cool giggle. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I got back on, thankfully. I'm not sure YouTube has its moments. At least we're not buffering. Did I say it? I hope I didn't jinx us here. So those like Teary who just came into the room, I was just saying, that um, to like each other's uh, page and follow us there. So you see each other's bubbles, once you click on each other's names, um, start following each other. So then um, liking and following each other, because that's how we help each other out. So I know a lot of you guys like Meredith and Cindy are starting a new Etsy group um, on Etsy um, and a new YouTube channel. So at least all of us can know when that happens. <laughs> Yes, there's so many, it looks like buffering. Oh, dear goodness. All right, so I guess I should get to the point. We got people in a room and I don't want things to get crazy uh, where it does not, don't get where I'm at. Oh, Meredith, well, we're all wonderful and we're all trying to learn and all trying to get ahead in this world so we should be helping each other. Oh, V, no, I'm just blabbing about sew machines, getting comfortable with your sew machines because one, I like to help you guys get started setting them up, dusting them off, plugging them in, knowing how to work them. Two, second thing I said that uh, if you weren't in the room was to like each other. So follow each other here on YouTube. So you see each other's little bubble heads, you know, up there on the left. Hi, Barb and V, I said hi, I'm talking to V too. But, um, uh, to follow each other's channels. So then those new people who like Meredith and Cindy or who's starting some new Etsy pages um, and YouTube channels, we know when it happens. So let's like each other. Cause I like you. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, all right, so at least I got in here. I was trying to get enough people in here to talk about the new things. Yeah, so, oh yeah, V, so the thing you didn't, I don't think you heard, or I think K uh, Terry didn't hear about Meredith, uh, who is in this room. She does leather making when it comes to junk journals, and she does paper craft, so wouldn't it be nice to know her, knowing how to, maybe she could teach us something about leather and how to make our own leather junk journal covers. She makes the, makes the most amazing, uh, don't mind the dog, uh, the most amazing uh, junk journals, and you know, like those junk journals, which correct me, Meredith, if I'm saying it wrong, where they it's stamped beautiful covers, like stamp embossed as well in leather, but um, really neat, and I want to know. <laughs> hey, Deb, how you doing? Tooled. Okay, so neat. Speaking of which, which I'm not going to show you this time, but I was going to show you some leather uh, purses I got and tell a story, just not today. Another day, Meredith. Excuse me, I'm burping up some pasta salad my husband made. I don't cook anymore, those know that already. Oh, you're making a video, Deb. Hey, Cheryl. All right, so we got a lot of people in the house. Um, those who missed out on what was said earlier, waiting for people to come in the house, um, you can play back later. Um, but now that you're in a room, like I said, before I get started, Let's uh, like and follow each other here. So those bubble heads there, click on each other's bubble heads and let's help support each other. Let's follow each other. Let's subscribe to each other's channels. Like our pages. All right, do I sound redundant yet? All right, so what's about a bubbles here? I'm doing something wrong. I'm click on bubbles and nothing's happening. All right, so if not the head, click on the name. Click on their name and then it should take you to where I think you could subscribe to their channel. Did that help you out, hon? <laughs> now, Meredith, I gave you a little push and a nudge. So that means let's see you on YouTube, Meredith. Let's see your leather work and your art crafts and uh, your paper crafts. And let's get you started on... Um, Etsy. 
not working. All right, so anyone else can help her out how to click on each other's names because I am on my, my phone's here, my computer's here. So maybe someone could help each other out. All right, you sure did. I, I think it introduced the video up. Um, uh, so not everyone's making videos, but Meredith above you on your, uh, the feeds here in my feeds, at least she is new to the Etsy world. She doesn't have her site. I don't think fully set up yet, but here on YouTube, she's starting a channel as well. And hopefully, right, Meredith, we're going to get you started on videos and how to go live. You don't have to show each other's face. You could just show the, the table if you don't feel like showing this. All right, is ever anyone having difficulties clicking on each other's names? All right, so there you go. Someone's telling you what to do. So read the feeds, follow it through. This is my first time suggesting and offering you guys help each other out. Um, I know it helps me, but gosh, there's so many wonderful people in the room today that uh, are very talented. So um, let's get beyond our fears and help each other out follow each other, subscribe to each other, and let's get those sewing machines out. <laughs> get that engine going. And uh, I'll help you guys out. All right, so I'm going to put the camera down. Now we got more people in the room and show you what I have. Because I can't be on here a crazy lot. There's uh, one, two, three things I'm going to show you guys today. And then there's a handful of things I'm willing to uh, sell off the side. There's lace um, and a big bundle here. I have um, some books um, and then I have some vintage music sheets uh, in a package that I want to put together. It's a lot. But uh, all right, so you guys doing good helping each other out. Hey, Gail. Um, over here is my computer, so don't mind me. I'm reading your guys' feeds. Yep. Again, those who missed out on the conversation the first uh, 32 minutes, um, after this live video, go back to it because, um, one, I was teaching you guys how to get a sewing machine without spending money, um, how to get a Walmart app on your phone, and how to start taking pictures of your, uh, your receipts called Savings Catcher and all that. Um, to um, get them started and ready because I'm going to start be doing live events where I'm going to start teaching you guys how to use your sewing machine and not to have fear. It's not a gun, people. <laughs> it's just plug the thing in and then we'll get this going. <laughs> right? Good, Meredith. You deserve it because each and every person in this room, we try to do that for each other, right? She's new. Anyone new, we do that for each other. If there's someone new in this room that I haven't introduce um, that um, is going to be starting an, an Etsy page or a YouTube page or just wants to be noticed or said hey just say hey because we will love to help each other out. I love brothers but I have to say my number one favorite machine which is sorry it's not the most affordable is a FAF. Hey Diane how you doing? Diane now those who don't know Diane why don't you guys click on her and follow her subscribe to her channel as well. She does amazing videos on her sew machine, how to do certain tags and how to sew, right, Diane? So bring those machines out. We're going to learn. Good, Cheryl. You should be. This is what YouTube Live should be all about. So you guys are the audience. You guys are the ones I try to help. Of course, I supply you guys with supplies. That's what I do. Um, but I've never actually, this will be my first time ever teaching you guys how to use machines. Get comfortable. Each other teach each other things here in the feeds on how to do it. Oh, bye, Nan. Again, that's another person you guys need to subscribe to her channel, follow. She makes amazing journals. Hope you feel better, Nan. All right. So cute. Um, I don't know. I could turn my camera. I won't want to touch my camera. Right here, I have this huge window in front of me, and I have my husband I'm waving to, who's ignoring me. <laughs> fishing. We have a lake right there. He's out there fishing in his cub shirt. He looks miserable, actually. It must be too hot out there. Oh, good, Terry. I'm glad you like it. They're beautiful, aren't they? I can't wait. I have like 20 more coming in here in a day. So 
I'm looking forward to that. All right, did I miss something? I'm going to put this camera down again so you guys can see what I got to show you as I'm reading the feeds once more. Um, sweet. So, guys, go ahead. Click on her, her link and how you could do that. Subscribe to her. Follow her. Check out her uh, Etsy you know, group. Message her. Uh, that's what we do. All right. All right. So, so this is what I have to show those who I know a lot of you guys ordered the the, uh, the retro junk journal kit, um, the pre order, but didn't get to see the entire thing. So I was going to show you I was going to open up one of the packages and show you what one looks like. Um, also, I was going to show you guys I put together 12 of these because um, in the retro kit, you do get a small pack, but I have a lot of totally vintage fabrics palms, woven trims. Um, I think I have some vintage linens in here um, as well, but starting from like two inch like little squares all the way up to like junk journal cover size fabrics um, that I just listed in my shop. I'm going to open up one of the bundles to show you what they look like. So I was going to do both of those. So at least you guys get a sneak peek. I only have five of the retro junk journal kits left. So at the bottom of this video, there's a link to get to my shop if you wanted to check those out. But um, I wanted to show you, because I never got the chance to show you guys the retro one. It just came and gone like so fast. So I only have five left and I wanted to show you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Amy, that's what it's for. I mean, I if I feel that there are shipping overages, I will refund you. If you're international, I will give you a refund, at least $5 off max um, of your total order. So I at least can help you with some of the shipping costs. It's the best I can do. All my kits are $25.50. I do not raise the price. So I try to keep it affordable for you guys and pack them up as much as possible. No buffering here. I feel great. Yeah, who knows? Maybe YouTube is going to pause me here soon. So I'm going to try to get it quick. So those who got the retro kit, I'm just going to open it up real quick so nobody gets buffered and having an issue here. So I made it a flat box. Can you guys see this okay? Should I zoom in more? Yeah, today my Wi-Fi is cooking. I'm doing great. Okay, I'm back. I am not sure. It's a YouTube day. Oh boy. Anyone back on with me? All right, I am not sure what happened there. All right, so I need to zoom in a little. Okay. Thank you for your honesty. Let me get myself in here some. So I'm going to make you guys a little dizzy. All right. All right, do I need to zoom in a little more? Cause I'll bring it up to you guys if I have to. Oh my goodness. Be good, my Zoom. Great, right. does that work a little better? Thank you. Not everyone got that. I think five out of the 40 didn't. So don't worry, there's a ton of stuff in here. Sure, Corey, and all you do is just go to the shop. Um, I have five available left. Um, I'll just add another one to the shop since Corey and I've taken yours off the shelf. But um, there should be five available. So, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think, Corey, and this one is yours. I'm not sure what box. I have your name written on it, I think. I think you got the book cover. Sure, not a problem, hun. All right, so each kit, this is pretty much you got. I made sure that each uh, retro junk journal kit, you got an actual, this one here, I think it's 1950s, um, vintage pattern. Can you guys see that? Okay. And most of them are uncut. They are, and if those who've done their research online, an uncut pattern, especially vintage, go for between 10 and 12 bucks a piece. So um, some kids have Vogue, just saying, it's a mystery, who knows we'll get the Vogue. But um, I made sure that they were all beautiful. So you guys will all get a vintage uh, retro pattern. 
I didn't do my research too much because I'm sure I could have sold these guys, these uh, kits, um, these patterns uh, separately. But heck, I wanted you guys to have a great surprise. So definitely you guys got a cool vintage retro pattern. Um, they're just beautiful. There's so many. Hey, Jaina, welcome. You need to um, later go back and restart from the beginning on this. Um, like I showed you guys before, I do just in the shop now, I have listed already these fabric bundles that are retro. There's floral retro. There's, you know, like the, the uh, primary color retros. I have some palms in it, some woven trims in these bundles. Uh, they're only $15 and they're packed. So they got all these different retro prints. I'm going to open this up later. But um, I have vintage linens in there as well. Um, to large sizes for like junk journal size for covers all the way up to the small little bits to for your tags and everything else. But I'll go through that later. But in your retro junk journal kit, those who got one. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer's in the house as well. Um, you got a miniature version of it. So I'm going to open that up. Jennifer is involved in this kit. Those, since Jennifer is in the house right now, those, remember earlier I told you guys to help each other out. So if you're not subscribed to her channel, um, go for it. So go ahead, get off of this, click onto her, subscribe to her channel. She has something special in that retro junk journal kit that she put um, in this junk journal kit release, which I'm gonna show you guys here in a minute as well. So, let me go ahead and finish through this really quick as you guys say hey to each other. So each uh, retro uh, junk journal kit gets a fabric bundle as well. It's not as large as the ones that are in my shop. Can you see the difference? Uh, this is, like I said, only $15. You do get the palms like this here, um, and you do get the woven trim like you do here in your kit. But like I said, the kit's $25.50. Um, and here already, like I said, you got a pattern that's already worth 12 something, not counting everything else that you're gonna see in this. The ephemera in this rocks. Um, of course, I love my fabrics, because you know me, Amore Fabrics. So you get a piece of palms, I think it's six or seven inches. You'll get woven trims. Some trims are different than others. Some are like this. There's all varieties. So there's this one. Um, you will be getting, um, and those who are interested in this, I said I think I have five left, so there's a link there at the bottom, click on it. Yes, like I said earlier guys, you need to subscribe to each other's channels. So you see everyone's feeds, there's a lot of wonderful people in this room. Click on them. If you wanna know some new things and how to create, click on them, subscribe to them. Like each other's page, we help each other out, so. Yes, I can, Corinne. You guys know me. I'm great with refunding any overages. I combine shipping. And if you're international, I always give you up to $5 credit off your shipping. So we'll have vintage linens in them. This is the retro junk journal kit. We'll have like kitchen patterns. Each uh, kit will have a variety of fabrics. So I can do that. Um, there's all kinds of retros. They're all different sizes. Um, perfect for pockets. And that gorgeous. I know candy, is that that grandma's tablecloth thing? We got the candy cane stripe. We got polka dots. We got the retro kids. Like I said, the retro junk journal kit is gonna be fashion. It's gonna be children. It's gonna be sewing. Um, it's, you'll see. So here's some more. And all of these are vintage fabrics. Most of them are cotton blends. And this one here, if I could open her up. Yeah, this one I think is 14 and a half by 10. The bundles, uh, there are shop. I was going to open one of them up. I was just going to show uh, Jennifer that um, each junk journal kit that is retro has a smaller version of the one I have just listed in my shop. They also have palms and the woven trim in them as well. You just click on the link below, it should take you to the shop. But like I said, those who got the retro junk journal kit, you get the smaller version already. So, um, but if you didn't get the junk journal kit, um, it's not too late. I have five left. And, um, or if you just want a more variety of fabrics, you can get that. That's only $15, but you get the woven trim and everything else. I think it's nearly like 14 ounces, getting close to a pound worth of fabrics. So that is in the retro kit. Oh, I didn't show this. Not every retro kit got this, but um, different colors. This is from a vintage quilt. 
I think I think it's a 14 by 10. I'm not I don't got my ruler next to me. I just cut the square out of a vintage retro quilt. All right, what am I missing here? Yes, I can do that for you, Corinne. So then you, like I said, you got this. I think this is like four ounces worth um, of pieces. Um, Jennifer's in a house, since Jennifer's in a house, let me go ahead and show Jennifer, she has an Etsy shop as well. Um, in the kit, she has offered her, her card um, and her Etsy shop, shop is Creations by Gent, Gents, if I could say it right. This is her card. What's cool about her card is she backed it with fabrics and she's sewn different things in each one of her cards. I don't know if you guys can see her shop name on there. Later on, I can enter her shop information below. So each kit got a tag and she made this. She got this cute little uh, bag and then um, she put a little retro sticker that you can use for later. Um, and then see here she, how she embellished this tag. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Cute little dresses, retro women, look at the little button card. Um, and then she has this flower that she was so worried about. Um, she did an amazing job on and she embellished it with a button at the top. And I want so bad to put a little thread of something through there, so bad. So each retro kit gets that. Like I said, it's not late. Like I said, I have five more left, I think. So go for it, you can't beat for 25.50, so especially that pattern. Um, each retro kit got um, a vintage card unused with an envelope. I don't think any of them has, um, each card is different. So not one is the same, but this one here is this one. Those who've seen some of my live uh, uh, events, seen what the cards I did uh, save for them. So uh, you got a retro napkin, which I can open up for you. Yeah, didn't Jen do an amazing job? Thank you, Jen. So each kid got a retro napkin, which I wanted it totally retro, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, some of the napkins are smaller than this. This is the larger version. Put that aside. Um, I'll go through this ephemera kit later, but um, each uh, retro junk journal kit came with a full book um, of uh, music. So you got the totally 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s <laughs> type uh, retro music book, which that is a value in itself. Like I said, I didn't do a lot of research on looking these books up. They were pretty pricey. I think 10 or 12 bucks a piece, <clears throat> some more. I just didn't want to look. I wanted to give you guys a good value. So you get a whole book. And the cool thing about a flat package is I will not be bending them. So it's perfect. Each kit got two um, child craft pages. If I could find both of them here. Um, here's one. All right, so this one here got these two pages. So each junk journal kit will get two child craft pages. Those are familiar with child craft books. They're just gorgeous children's books. Um, they're the most beautiful illustrations. So this one got this one. There's so many. I love children's retro. Look at that beach one. Um, and then uh, some more children's pages. This is a little bit thicker. I was thinking of Gail with this one because Gail's trying to uh, do like a clown junk journal. Look at that baby. Um, then you have different, you know, vintage black and whites, fashion ladies. Yes, each, like I said, retro jump turtle kit got two of them. You guys can see. Isn't that cool? Wouldn't this be cool if you folded it over as a book page and you got all those cool pages? I thought it was cool. Um, then you got vintage, like, article pages. Classifies for children's book pages. Um, looks like game cards. Looks like we've got more. This each one is filled with different ephemera. This is just the large pack of ephemera. Quickly go through it's just different articles, things about crafting. 
Uh, this is from a sewing book about patterns and how to sew different pockets, seams, and clothes like that. Um, cooking papers. Make sure I put a lot of cooking papers in there. Recipe cards. Some more, you know, colorful cooking papers. Ledger paper will be in there. Um, that was part of that person's large pack. And then in the small pack, which is awesome in itself. Sorry guys, I'm rambling on. I'm not looking at the feeds right now. Each large pack will get this little, little bitty guy here. And inside, there will be two train Czechoslovakian train tickets. Hang on here. Let me get them out. Okay. So each packet will have two. I told you guys about these before. Each kit will have two of them. Uh, we'll have those saver stamps. Each one with different colors. Some might have orange. Some have green. Some will have these. Cigarette card thingies. They're not cigarette cards, but the cigarette like papers. Each kit will have a bingo chip. This one is number 79. Some tickets. Woohoo! Let's drop it here. And then a vintage uh, stamp. Each kit has a different kind of stamp. This one's of a diner. I gotta package this up good. Each kit has like three or four different kinds of cards. Either it be, each kit has like at least four plus cards. This one has a clown. Hey Diane. This one has uh, the retro flower. Of course, a vintage Uno. Some more retro cards. At least four vintage cards. Vintage cards will be in each. A vintage button pack will be in each. Each card is different, but it's a complete card. Each kit will be complete cards. Aren't they gorgeous? Each kit will have its own pack of three or four yards of seam binding or trim. Now Diane's in the house, so Meredith, that's one person you need to subscribe to her channel and those also. Each kit will have a stamper card, like saving stamper card. Of course, retro postcards. Subscribe to their channels and like their channels. That's how we help each other out. Like them. I like her. Um, each kit will have some kids' uh, flashcards. Yeah, Diane's awesome. She's making me a junk journal, which I can't wait to share with you guys. So we got some vintage Monopoly cards. Uh, what game is that? Luck. Um, opportunity cards. Each kit will have, I don't know, what game is that one? I forgot, guys. Each kit, obviously, you guys seen these before, the money rolls. Whoops. Looks like this kit came on an extra two train tickets, which is awesome. Bingo cards. Each kit will have, obviously, game cards. Oh, that's another thing. See, I'm not done. <laughs> this ephemera in this one's crazy. So each kit will have the two large cooking cards. And then each kit will have two smaller Betty Crocker cooking cards. Each kit will have three library cards. One with the, uh, the backing where it sticks to your book with the white card. Also two others. It's okay, hon. A blue and a yellow will be in each kit. Each kit will have a vintage uh, envelope that's unused. It's stamped because it's stamped for the uh, stamp date of a release of a stamp. I'm not sure the value of them, but hey, I threw them in there. I'm kind of reading what you guys say. Each has uh, uh, the, uh, what you call it, recipe cards, some more ledger paper, which you already went through this already. So that was that. So you get all this ephemera and those kits. You get Diane, uh, Jennifer, sorry, um, tag that she made for everybody by Jen and her shop card in there as well. And this beautiful, cute bag you can use for later. You'll get, like I said, you get the, the fabric, the trims, the vintage retro. Some are cut, some are uncut. Um, so yeah, that was the retro kit. So those who missed out, or think they missed out that you didn't, there's still some ready. All right, so now I got that over with. <laughs> I never got the chance to share with you guys what was in the retro kit. I had the uh, pre-order 
but you guys never got to see the entire thing. <laughs> so there you go, late. But hey, at least there's five left. <laughs> what am I missing here? I think I'm missing fees here. We have, okay. A thousand subscribers. I have not made that. <laughs> That's another reason why you should all subscribe to each other. Help each other out. And the best part of it is you get to know when they have new updates and everything. <laughs> no stress, man. You got this. Oh, so there's only four left, <laughs> which I need to add one because Kareen, I, I took yours off the shelf. So <laughs> someone, so now I need to add one, <laughs> which is okay. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. So I've been working on today. I was been messing with fabrics. I look here at this huge bin. And I bundled up all these cute little retro fabric bundles. I have 12 only. So like I showed you earlier, this is what they are. And they're filled with cute things. So I was going to share with you guys that. What I'll do is I'll stick it on top of this here. So here's the bundles. Like I said, 12. They're only $15, which is awesome because I packed them up. So I tied them with these cute little retro thread. The... Uh, leftover like ribbons. I'm going to do it like a bow so you guys can have these extra pieces, long pieces for snippets. I said the word right, I hope. Look at that. You can use that towards something. Sew it on the edge of your, of your page or cut them up for little tabs. Yes, Corinne, I'll hold one for you, baby. So each kit will have fabrics just similar exactly to each other. So they're all the same. They may be cut in different sizes, but I did this bundle different. I wanted to put together something that one, you could use for a cover. Two, you could use for those tabs on the edge of your like pages um, or just pockets. So I was thinking of covers, pockets, and tabs. Um, so that's what I did. And then I added some palms like I have in the retro kit and a piece of robe and trim. I think there's six or seven inches in each kit. Each one's different. Like I said, like here's one, each bundle's different. It has the purple. This one has a little bit of different. So they're all different. You know, they're all the same, but different in their own way. So at the top of each bundle, yes, I'll hold one for you, hun. I have this cute little small amount of these little bitty vintage retro fabrics. So they're cut in the two to three inches uh, square. And I have a handful in each one. Wouldn't those be perfect? Perfect size for your little tabs that you sew in on your junk journal pages. So I'll show you the pieces that we have in each one. We got the blue. Look how retro and totally vintage fabrics these are. They're so cute. We got like a kitchen theme. Aren't they? So each kit, each bundle has a handful of these. The prints you see are most likely in each one. Totally retro. Aren't they gorgeous? Perfect size. I think there's like 10 in each, maybe a little less. They're perfect size and ready to go. And then it looks like there's that one. So that's the top of that one. Each kit will have one to two pieces of this. A lot of people love that one. Would that make two cool pockets? Just that one make two. Uh, each kit will have a piece of this wool uh, plaid. Sorry, we got all kinds of, let me shake that off. <laughs> we got uh, all kinds of little fuzzies there, uh, which I think you can make two different pockets out of. It's just, I love plaid because I love the fact that it's like burlap, it ravels off. Each kit will have a large piece of this. The same thing I used to tie up this bundle. Um, we'll have a piece of the vintage, uh, it's almost like a, a feed sack fabric. It's, they used it a lot of times for curtains or drapery types. It's beautiful. I put children's type pieces in here. If you want to know how you can get this, they're 15 bucks per one of these bundles. There's a link below here. 
So we gotta have the polka dots. Each kit has the rabbits. Each pieces I'm showing, each kit has in each one. Each bundle. I'm calling it kits for some reason. This here is polyester, but gosh, it's called Oh So Me. <laughs> it ruffled me up. It's so silky. It's totally retro. Each kit has, each bundle, Lord have mercy, um, has a large piece of that. Of course, we got the children's pieces again. Of course, we have to have the vintage fabric for flowers. Some more. Some are small, some are large. They're perfect size for pockets and little layering. And they're all totally vintage. So that's my favorite part of all. I kept a little frill at the end on this just in case you guys want it for something. Yes, I can't wait to share with you guys how to use your sew machines. Give me a week. We're going to get our, get your machines out. A week from now, we're gonna run those things. We're gonna learn how to use them. Look at that one. That'd be like two pockets. All right, so then I have the reds. Of course, we need the reds. Look, it's like I said, each kit has like almost like two of these. They're scrap fabric bundles, so they're all different in sizes and stuff. So the one I'm showing you is one I just opened. Of course, now we got the red and white polka dots. And then, of course, you have to have the blues. This bundle's filled. I love this one. This is my favorite. This one here reminds me of the old beds that they would have lined in this. It's thick, and it's a large piece. Okay, what's YouTube doing? Um, this each kit will have this. This here is a wax fabric. It's a wax block print. It's so gorgeous. Each one has a large cut of this. Um, the feeling of this is gorgeous. You can see the colors. And look at I'm gonna turn sides. Each side is just as equally colorful. It's like beautiful. Oh, I know. You have to click on each other's thing and follow or subscribe. Of course, you have to have the black and white polka dots. Of course, yellows and stripes. This one's got like a ruffly feel. It reminds me of the, uh, like the vintage girls' dresses, uh, sundresses. Thank you. Of course, we have to have the brown checkered. Each one has a large cut of that. So don't you think that'd be an awesome lining on the inside of your junk journal for a retro? And it's gorgeous. Each kit will have a nice good size of this. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a poly cotton blend. It's not stretchy, but it's it just reminds me of that. Each kit will have a very large cut. You have to have the pinks and the greens. This reminds me of Diane where she says she likes the bold colors. Look how huge this piece is. This here is definitely a cover piece, but totally girl retro. Cries out color. Reminds me of Diane. She's talking about making some kind of uh, bold kit. Each kit will have a uh, like a. This reminds me of like a linen. It's a yellow, but each side's different and it's gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna flip sides. This one's a little bit lighter in color, but it's large enough, I think, for a cover. Um, and then last, each kit. Bundle, my goodness, I keep saying kit, I'm just like blah. We'll have a large linen piece. Um, I did, each size is different in each one, but look how huge this one is. Um, and this one's got like the, this is like the, reminds me of like feed sack, but it's the linen tablecloths. Some will have the roses, some will have the yellow roses, um, some will have the pink roses. Yeah, each bundle will have a large piece. Um, not like I said, each one is the same in size. This one is just this one. So that's the cool thing about scrap fabrics. They are all just what they are. So, all right, so there's that one. It is large. Make sure I put my little palms back on here. My little pieces for tabs, my woven trims, my palms. And like I said, I have only 12. So get them while you can because otherwise they're gonna be gone. <laughs> I know that for sure. So, and if you feel like you missed out, don't worry. Message me if there's none left. 
I will, I'm always coming across um, fabrics and I'm more than willing to uh, put one together for you. So let me wrap this guy back up beautiful for the next person. Me too. Roses, vintage floral is my favorite theme of all. So I love vintage floral anything. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, that green, which one? Let's see here. That bold green one was really cool. Where'd that guy go? Where, where did you go? There he is. He was just, I can even see he used that for Bohemian too. That, that guy's gorgeous. His richness and color. Yeah, I like the vintage linens. Well, hello. <laughs> this is cross stitch. It's not as fancy dancy, but um, it is, uh, is what it is. Now, just so you can know, I do have only one bag of the uh, snippets. Am I saying the word right? Of the retro. So if anyone's interested in this, message me on Etsy. I only have one available. And the first person who messages me in Etsy is the person I will sell it to. Like I said, all my snippet bags that are a gallon size are 15. So mind you though, these here are also going for 15, which you could cut your own snippets if you feel like you missed out um, off of these. So you get a whole lot more here with all these fabric pieces. So just saying. All right, so what am I missing here? All right, so you can see my face. Now I showed you guys that stuff. Do you still have mine? The Bohemian snippet, Snippets is what you're talking about, Corrine? If so, yes. Thank you, Candy. Now, Candy, I knew you were going to love this tablecloth. That's why I showed it. <laughs> it does have some staining in here. Um, but it's got the most beautiful, if I could bring it down here, um, corners that are cross-stitched. And then, like I said, they have like these, I was going to use it as a cutter. Cut it up for you guys' garden kits or what have you. Yeah, if you're still interested in boho snippets, I do not, snippets, I do not have a listing for them. You need to message me. Um, as I'm cutting these bohemian fabrics back there, I always get a bunch and I keep bagging them up. There is a list, but so far I've hit everyone's name and I'll be able to make you one. So if you're interested in Bohemian snippets, message me. Click on one of those links. It takes you directly to my shop and uh, let's talk. I'll help you out. They're 15 bucks, like I said, a large Ziploc. Uh, they'll be stuffed, filled with them. Beaded fabrics, applique, uh, anything Bohemian that I get off of my pieces. Hey, Julie. <laughs> no, tablecloth, I have not sold it. I'm not selling it. <laughs> I was going to cut it. <laughs> I was going to cut it up because there's some staining on here and I was going to use it for like garden kits and stuff like that. Isn't it pretty though? <laughs> I know you guys like when I sell those things, but don't worry, you didn't miss out because I do have um, books to show you guys. Um, I have this huge bag of lace that I'm going to go through and show you guys. I also have it on um, these bolts as well, which I'll share later. That's something we could do a, a bid on, you know, not a bid, but a, um, a sale on that later after I go through it all. Um, I do have, um, a lot of these music papers that I'm going to sell as a lot. And if you guys remember that, uh, card book I showed you guys before, I was going to sell this as a lot, so to let it go. It also has those vintage postcards in there as well. That would be one lot that I was going to show. Um, oh, I have these really, 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 like, really cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> that lace is all going to one person, so keep yourselves watching because I was going to sell the entire bag for one lot. So I have these really cool books. I wanted to show you uh, three books that are awesome because the book covers are like a, like a, here I have to show you. These book covers is like canvas. Uh, there's that one. This one's like a sunflower and wait to see what's inside, which is even better. 
to see who it's by. All right, and then there's this one. Like I said, they're gorgeous. So I was gonna open these up. If you think this is beautiful, wait to see the inside. I think you guys are gonna be drooling. I was gonna show you those. Um, I guess let's start with that. Um, oh, so, okay, one more thing. I think if no one bought it yet, I have one more left of these uh, Bohemian book covers. This is the last one. This is the smaller pack, the one that's got three of them double-sided. So since it's the smaller pack, I think it's 12 inch by 12 and a half by 12 and a half inch three pack. Um, I added some sequence piece of uh, Bohemian fabric in that pack. It's still nine bucks. So there's three of them. So if that's still left in my shop, unless someone already bought it, there's one left of those until the new blankets come in. So there's that. Oh yeah. I will be sharing today. I have packs of crocheted pieces. Um, they're not full tablecloths, but the crocheted pieces. I'll be sharing those. That's I'm doing two different lots. There's that one, and this one is a tablecloth. I'll be sharing that one as well. So I think there's that. Oh yeah. And then there's a few things I added to my shop. I didn't get to add all of them, but I have a pack of uh, Lord have mercy. I think this is the pack of five of uh, vintage uh, patterns. This is the baby children theme. Um, and then I have, I think, a pack of four or five of the, these are the 40s. They're the most gorgeous retro patterns. I'll open those up as well. So let's get started because I know you guys probably have things to do. My drink is getting watered down. So give me a minute <laughs> to set this up. And then I can have a quick drink and say, hey, and see what I'm missing here. All right. So what do you guys like to see first? Thank you. Oh, hey, Kara's in the house. Hi, Kara. All right. Kara's a person, those who didn't already subscribe to her channel, just like I told you guys, Jaina and all these other people. Books. All right. The books. Oh, my gosh. All right. Just to give you a heads up, each book is 10 bucks, but it's worth every penny. And then some. I thought about ripping them up because there's so much gorgeous pieces that I know I can use in my kits. But I thought, well, I hate to rip them up in those beautiful covers because I don't junk journal. You guys do. Somebody might want to use those covers for something. So heads up, there's three books and they're 10 bucks a piece. Um, if you guys don't know the rules of how this works, just below this uh, thing, I have a link, click on the arrow down and you can kind of read through the rules. How does this work? So I'm going to say it once and then you guys can read it later if you don't remember. But um, let me show you the guys the item fully. Let me start from the beginning to the end, show you the book all the way through, give you the dates, show you pictures. And then when I say ready, set, go, make sure your caps locks on because that's the only way I can read. And the first person I see in my feeds, not your feeds, what I see in my feeds is the person I say who wins. So it'd be me or you know something something short that says i want or me um in caps so then i know that i could find that first person who did that now if you're on your phone holler because sometimes it's hard to keep all caps when you're on your phone so i kind of have an idea all right thank you meredith it's important we should all help each other out we love each other we share each other we like each other's channel that's the first thing i said today and i want you guys to keep it that way because you know who knows how else are we gonna know if there's something new gonna be happening a notification we won't know until we like and follow so i know candy you and that phone <laughs> so i know candy can't do the cat thing <laughs> all right Okay, so we'll start with books. After books, I'm going to do those music pages as a lot with the postcards. It's all going together. <laughs> oh, Kara, is that so? <laughs> Kara, you're hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so these books, I'm going to tell you about them before I show you what the first one's going to be. So let me find these in order. There's an order of them. So this is 1910. I was here. That's even earlier. This one's 1870 to 1900s. That is the theme. It's not the date of the book. 
The books were made in the 70s. Let's see here. This one's 1970. So the first book, this is by t uh, Time Life Books. Time Life Books, that those are familiar with, did some hardback year yearly hardback books like this that they did. And this is a three of, I don't even know if it's three of many, but these are three. So the first book I was going to show you, let's see if that's the right one, 1920s. Okay, so that'd be the first, this is the second, this is the third. So okay, I'm going to zoom down here. I know V is in the house <laughs> or sparkles or which one do you want to call it. All right, so this is the first book that's up for grabs. Those who've never purchased here online before, if you want to know how do I purchase and how do I, how does this work? So if you did win uh, the offer, like the first person to say, yes, I want this and this, there's a link below, click on that link, goes to my shop and then message me there and then we'll set up a way for you to purchase either through PayPal or through Etsy. So either way. All right, here's the first book up for grabs. The size of the book is, the width is we are at 11 by nine, nine by 11. This has got the sunflower theme. Time Life has started this book. If I could turn this around really quick. This is going for $10. It's 1870 through the 1900s theme and era which is awesome. It has got black and white, but mostly it's got the most amazing colorful pages that you can ever see. I mean, it's about the era of that time, but look at these pages. All right, there's no me, 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 I, I, I yet. Talk. Let me finish up the showing of the book. Once I'm all done, I'll say ready, set, go, and we'll start from there. Sound like a plan, everyone? All right, so um, colorful pages. There's gonna be also black and white. The pages are awesome. They're gorgeous. So uh, I'm gonna flip through here. I know some of them have advertisement page. Um, hope I'm not going too fast on you guys. And it gorgeous. They like newspaper articles in here. It's just super, oh, that is really cool. So I got maps, but look at that. Could you imagine copying that and just music? It's just, Every bit of this, I was like, how can I rip this when I, the whole book is gorgeous? And I thought, 10 bucks is very fair. Here we go. We got some, oh, look at that. Vintage Christmas. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that tree. My mom still does trees like that today. My mom does nothing but vintage ornaments. Anyway, so there's that one. Um, oh, look at that page. All right, so get you guys' this triggers ready. I'm going to say ready, set, go here in a minute after I close the book. All right, so this is going for $10. Time life, ready, go, ready, set, go. First person says, I, me, or whatever in caps. All right, we got... <laughs> oh, I see it rolling in. Let me get my sticky notes here. All right, Laura, right? Is that Millicent, Millicent O'Neill is Laura, right? I-L-L-I-C-E-N-T O'Neill is who I have first. Is that you, Laura? That name, I can't seem to get, you know, figure out who that is. Joan. Okay, sorry about that, hon. There's a Laura has a name similar to yours. All right, Joan, you you made it, baby cakes. That's over there. We'll talk later on Etsy, all right? All right, the second one, all right, is, it's okay, there's two more to go. It's 1910 to 1920s. Same theme. The cool thing about this one, let me see if I can get it. Is this the one? No, it's the next one. It's got the newspaper articles in the middle. Okay, the cool thing about this one is so similar to the other one. The only difference is the color difference. It's got the scallop. All right, same thing. I'll start from the back. The pages are gorgeous. Look at that. We got the fashionable ladies of Hollywood. Black and white. So you guys see the pictures okay? Looks like we got wartime. It's gonna have the colorful pages here in a minute. It's like throughout. 
Oh, look at that. Oh, is that like girls in jail or something? Okay, I'm reading upside down. I can't really see. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to clip through here. I think it's in the middle. It's got the clear the color coming. So throughout, they got the colorful one. Flip through pages for you guys. So it's all about the era of the 20s. Isn't that awesome? It's about Hollywood. It's about war. It's all about the 20s. So many beautiful pages. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ready, set, go. Yeah, this is the one with the newspaper articles. All right, Cindy, I see it's you first. All right, message me on Etsy, Cindy. All right, so there's that one. And then this one is my favorite of them all. That's why I did it last. <laughs> Sorry, Corrine. All right, so this one here is of the era of 1920s to the 1930s. Isn't it amazing? This one's gorgeous because right in the middle is newspaper articles. So if I could get it, the pages are like newspaper. Here's the middle. Look at this one, the daily tabloid. And it's about, it says here, a picture of the husband killer, Ruth Snyder, at the moment her electric, electric, electrocution was the most famous tabloid photo of the decade. So it starts with tabloids. And newspaper articles right in the middle. Isn't it crazy? And it feels like the newspaper is the middle of this one. Crazy. Look at that. You guys can see that, okay? Aren't they beautiful? All right, so there's that. And I'm going to start from the back. All right. So the back... It's got the colorful too. It's got the war times all about the era. Look at the cars. Hang on here. It's gonna be about the cars. We're not we're not saying anything about it yet, Julie. We gotta maybe finish the book and then we'll say me, I, whatever later when I say ready, set, go. But right now I'm gonna show it off to you first. Sorry, baby gigs. You got excited about that one. <laughs> Let me finish showing you first. But the pages here is Hollywood. Oh my gosh, look at the ladies. And that's okay, Julie. I just want everyone to get a chance to see it first before it's actually up for grabs. All right, so we got the colorful pages. Oops, we got the newspaper articles. There's so many pieces in here. Just wanted to at least give you a chance. Look at those newspaper article pages. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh my God. There's so many beautiful pages in this too. It's, ooh, interesting. So here's these, I'm not sure. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I see in this and I'm like, ooh la la. Each one of these books are crazy awesome. All right, almost there. Look at that. There's so many things you guys can grab from this. It's just crazy. So many beautiful pages. All right, measurements for this before I go. I'll, I said the measurements of the other ones before, but I'll say it again. I'm measuring it. I have 11 wide on this one, nine, nine by 11. And the width is, uh, looks like we're at one inch in thickness. So that's the size of this one here. Um, so beautiful blue, um, looks like the shadow box type, you know, cover. And this is what the bindings look like. All right, so we looked at the book. So ready, set, to go. First person in my feeds. All 
All right, so the first person I have, me please, is Meredith. I know, poor Julie. <laughs> I know, you've been so excited. You know, don't worry everyone, when I get more of these, if I see these again, I know. When I see these covers and those bins, I know I'm gonna grab them for you guys. I promise. I seen this and I was like, oh, I was in love. All right, so there's those. <sighs> it's okay. That's okay. Never say never because you never know, guys. There's that moment that you guys do. All right, so the next thing up for grabs is lace. This whole thing, I know I'm kind of need to get up here, move my thing up. Oh, hey, hon, how you doing? <laughs> We've well, been on before, huh? All right, so this thing, this bag of lace is, um, let's see here. Let me get my measuring tool. Let me move my beautiful thing here. I got my thing here. The bag is 15 inch by 12 inch wide by nine inches in thickness. And inside this, what's that? What's that updating? I only go through the feeds on how I see it first. Whoever says hi, me, I mean, sorry, I or me first is who I pick. Hi, Laura. Hi, Corrine. Wait, Corrine, you've already been in here. Seems like Selena's fees are not updating. I may have just found you today. No, I've met you before, hon. Yeah, it looks orange from that view, but it's not. It's like a creamy color. Hey, hon. Welcome back. Oh, okay. All right, so in this, I'm going to open it up so you guys can kind of see it. I know the lighting, I hope, is okay. But this thing is packed. All right, so I'll start with those. So we got some reds. We got some yellows. They're mostly ruffles. Those, this is like a yellow and blue ruffle. These are a 90% ruffle. Those who need to know, it's mostly ruffle. Greens, there's so much yardage in the greens too. Um, so then there's a there's like a few three or four yards of this garden kind. Um, and then I have like the larger ruffles. The lengths are like yardage. So you know, you could cut off, like you said, um, those who don't know the secret, if you want it straight, just cut off the tops here. Um, and it will make it straight if you don't want to ruffle. Yep, that's the easy way of doing it. Oh. Oh, okay. I get you. Um, so then you got this here. There's so many different kinds. There's, there's so many in here. It's packed. I even got spools of it. Um, and then you have two of these which are packed with it. These are dainties. I don't think you could cut off. These are just the way they are. This one, someone says they thought it was like an It's not, it's just a creamy color. So there's, I don't know how many yards are on these, but there's two of those filled. I have like the eyelet in here as well. Tons of yardage in that. We got the cream and white eyelets. Um, so there's little, like, look at the vintage ones here, too. Look how dainty those are. Yeah, there is so much here. It's, like, piled up here. Let me grab that bag. I mean, this, I gotta weigh this, and I'll tell you the weight of it. Let's see here. Let me put it all back in this bag. This bag is huge. Um, just gonna stuff it all in there. Let me weigh this. Oh, there's another spool here filled with it. All right, so let me cram this all in here. Oh, that cutie, there's this one too. I don't know if you guys see that. That's filled as well. That right guy doesn't need to be in there. Looks like there's some in there too. All right, so this bag is filled up. Let me go ahead and weigh this sucker. All right, so this guy is weighing, let's see here. 
He weighs. Those, you know, lace is not really heavy. We're nearing um, a pound and a half. At least that's what my scale's saying. <clears throat> a pound and a half worth, but it's filled of all this lace. I was gonna ask $30 for it all. It is a steal. So uh, first come, first serve in my fees. Ready, set, go. First person in my feed says something so pretty. Corinne says, oh man, everything is so pretty. The next person is Dear Julie Julie says me first. That is what's in my feeds. Okay, so Dear Julie Julie, do I know your name, Julie. Is it Julie? 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 So Julie, if I don't know who you are, why don't you message me through Etsy just in case. Let me go ahead and staple this here. Now V, am I missing something? I see that you said I'm missing something. I'm going to staple this on here so I don't lose it. Grab my stapler. You guys can see my nice cool pajamas. And I think 30 bucks was a good price. All right. Yeah, Julie, uh, v, am I missing something? Room, am I missing something? Please update me because I don't want to leave anyone out. They are. It's called Victoria's Secret, baby. <laughs> Yeah, I, I pick the winner on how I see my feeds. Yeah, because the feeds are come, sometimes people can see it differently and each other's feeds are different than each other's, but I figured the winner is the person I see in my feed, so I could keep it fair. Um, and so no one's like, well, I got missed out. What about me? Um, I figured if I could see it in my feeds first, that would be the person first. Thank you. Oh, okay. So what am I missing though? V you said something I'm not getting something. Oh, okay. Now V, maybe it's uh, an international thing? Question mark? I'm not sure. Okay, so next thing up is, all right, so the first bag of handmade um, doilies. They're larger. There's like, I think one, two, three, four in this Ziploc baggie. Oh, she sent messages here on YouTube or um, outside of YouTube. Yeah, I'm gonna pick who's first in my feeds, only to keep it fair. Yeah, I agree, restart your phone. It might be a good idea. Oh, I haven't had any buffering yet. Anyone else having buffering? Mm. All right, so I'm gonna continue on here because I'm not gonna stay on crazy much longer. I wanna get through these first and then I wanted to get through the music pages and the book and then uh, you guys can enjoy your Sunday. Hey, Melody. Finally get to see you in the house, babe. How you doing? Oh, wow, Terry. Yeah, I haven't had any buffering yet. I feel so wonderful that I haven't had no buffering or freezing or anything. Only about one time I had to get in and out. Other than that, I'm all good. Sorry, Terry. We're all good. I don't want to lose anyone. And <clears throat> anyone else having buffering other than Terry? Today I feel like I'm rocking it on my uh, speed and my Wi-Fi. 
I'm pretty good. I feel like I'm productive today. I've been really wanting to get on about this. Um, get a chance today, there, uh, Melody, start from the beginning of this live video so you can kind of idea other things I talked about. I've been talking about dredging, you know, bringing out our sewing machines, uh, getting them started up. And I like to start a weekly course on getting people started up on their sewing machines to overcome their fears of sewing. Yeah, I think it's pretty good here. How's the lighting in this room? I was hoping that the lighting was well as well. Oh, okay, Terry. That sucks. I know, I know. There's wood on this table, so I'm going to knock on it. <laughs> All right, so in this bag, I have one, two, three. Yeah, there's four. So I'll start with the first one. It's, if you guys need me to, I'll make it my, my measuring stick out here. Here's this one. All right, so this bag is gonna be sold as one lot, one lot. So it's gonna be $10 for the entire bag. I am not in separating these. They're, what's in this bag is what's gonna be sold. No one say I, me yet until I'm done showing. But it looks like this, uh, it is 26 round. Um, I figured there's so many things you can do with this. Um, cut the corners um, for coming out of books uh, or cut them out individually. Um, just, there's so many. Or just cover a book with it. Let me grab a book here. Um, I think you guys kind of get the idea. You could cover a book with it. Let me show how it looks with covering. I made sure I got a green book so you could kind of see through. Here's the center and then here's the corner. So let me grab a corner just in case. In case you want to do a corner and then have a book peek out. You know, there's so many things you can do with this one here. That's just one in this bag. All of them in this bag is going to go for 10 bucks. There's the first one. Um, I don't see any staining yet. Here's this one. I don't know if you guys can see that, okay? This one here. Like I said, this one's a little bit thinner. It's not as thick as the other one. What's that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, you kind of see. If you wanted to do the corner, you can. Or are you going to wrap an entire book? This is a pretty good sized book. This book is uh, 10 wide. So here we are. So you can kind of get an idea if you want to wrap a book in it and have some coming out of the pages. You got still got room to work with. I am six minutes late in my feeds. No freaking way. Isn't that crazy? Wow. I don't feel like I'm six minutes late. Does anyone else feel I'm six minutes late to my feeds? Yeah, I don't know how it's possible either. No. Sorry, V. Must be either because you're international. I don't know. I'll give you six minutes. All right, so that was the second piece. Here's the third. The third is a little bit longer. Look, you get like two or three books out of that one. That's craziness. One, two, like you could wrap one book and still have enough left over to come out of a book. Um, it's just beautiful. And it's not too thick. Yeah, it might be. And this one has a little bit of staining, but some people like to have the um, little bit of the darker spots, you know, like coffee, like dyed look. Um, so like I said, this book, I can tell you the size of the book again. I'm going to wrap the front and the back kind of thing. Um, all right, so the book here is a 10 by 7. All right, so you kind of get an idea. So the bag of this, are we all on the same page here? The bag of this is going to be for $10. Yeah, I don't know how. I See, I'm looking at my computer right now, and I'm listening to myself, and I feel like I'm on time. Um, I am not sure 
how it is possible I am not. So, uh, but I'm not from a different country or, from a, you know, I'm, I'm here, so I don't know. Either way. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't want to make sure that. Thank you, Cindy. All right. So 10 bucks for this bag. So ready, set, go. And it's 4.35 my time. So I'm going to watch my time to see how fast. And I got a timer here. Four. That was three seconds. I am have a time clock right here. After I said that, three seconds later, June O, 63 was first. Juno, do I know you? Now, Juno, like I said, if I don't and you've never purchased anything me through Etsy or PayPal, there's a link below this video. Click on it. It takes you to my Etsy shop. All right, Juno, what's your name then? So I know, <laughs> so you know, contact me on Etsy. We'll talk about this. Let me staple this to this. That was a good deal, you know. Yeah, I just, I have this timer here. Watch. You know what I'm going to do just for you guys? I have a test that we can try. Look at this handy dandy thing. You can see here, it counts down. It tells us how fast my feet's going. <laughs> Well, make sure before the bidding is starts, make sure you have your answer in your little toolbar and then press enter once I say ready, set, go. Maybe that might help you out. All right, so I'm going to set this guy here and let's run a test here. <laughs> All right, let's make sure there's no glare. Can you guys see that okay? Or is it backwards because it's like mirrored? I think you guys can see the timer. <laughs> All right, so I see it. I'm gonna let this guy sit right here like this, leave him like that a little bit so you guys can kind of see it. All right, so those who are watching this, because I'm not watching this, tell me if I'm slow. Okay, I'm not buffering. Oh, so you can't see the countdown right here? <laughs> I see Jaina. I see up there at the top, he says, oh man, uh, missed bidding. And then down below, he says, is anyone seeing my post? Question mark. We see you. So far, I'm good. Everyone else says they see you, my Dana. All right, so I have one more bag of this, and then I have... The music pages as a lot with the uh, the postcards um, and then we'll call it a date because everyone says they're I'm sure they got things to do and and like I said if you weren't here earlier why don't go ahead and check the beginning of this video because I have <clears throat> made an announcement that I was gonna start um, uh, a new maybe like a class where you bring out your sewing machines let's get them hooked up um, let's do it live so each other can help each other out. So get your sewing machines out, guys. A week from now, uh, we'll start some classes here. Um, and then we could start overcoming this fear of learning how to sew. A fear of our machine, fear of our thread and needle and all that crazy stuff. Let's get this all going. Sound like a plan? Yep, make sure you click live chat. Make sure, like, agree. Like like Diane just said, go up there, make sure you refresh. Maybe get out of the room, come back in. Sometimes, um, or there's like the threading right there. Make sure you, you zoom to the very bottom of the feeds so then you know exactly what's going on as well. 
Great, Deb. I'm glad you're going to be there. I'll make sure I set up an event so that we all know. And if you don't have a machine, we'll figure out a way. I'll message me and I'll show you, teach you how you can get yourself a machine uh, with little to no cost at all. Yep, I know Brothers in and out So I know Singer in and out I know Faf Machines in and out So I have no problem. I don't have to be in front of one to teach you. But I will bring mine out. I have a Faf. So um, bring them out, guys, because we're going to have that lesson step by step, however long it's going to take. And you guys are going to help each other out. It's not just me teaching you. If you have a question like this, pop it up. Every one of us could help you. So sweet. Good machine. My favorite brand, if you're going to start off with something reasonable, go with the Brothers. Get them at Walmart. I mean, they're freaking cheap. I mean, it's unbelievable. So start with the Brothers. Singer um, has is okay. It used to be the best of the best. Go with the Brothers because they give you more bang for your buck. And they're very universal with their needles and everything else. So yeah, Walmart, get a Brothers. Start with the Brothers. Yep, cool thing about Walmart as well, like those who didn't hear me earlier, those have the Walmart app, question mark, on your phone, because every time that you purchase something from Walmart, you save your receipt, they have a Walmart app that you can scan your receipt, and they, your local Walmart, will um, shop around at other shops, and if they find something cheaper for what you just purchased, say you bought a pack of pop, and your local town and country had it a dollar cheaper, Walmart will refund you that onto your Walmart app and then you start accumulating this money every time you scan your receipts. That's what I do. You can get your machine free if you just scan your Walmart receipts on your Walmart app. Joanne said go to Walmart. <laughs> I agree, Joanne. If you're talking about Joanne's fabric, they're freaking expensive. You got to have a coupon to go there. Oh, brothers. Yeah, it depends on what kind of machine you have. You just have to play with your machine. Sometimes it may not be your tension. It may because you didn't wind your bobbin well. Maybe it's the kind of needle and thread you're using, type of product, fabric you're using to sew. Sometimes the thread, the needle, and the fabric have to be happy with each other. So it seems complicated, but it's not that complicated. Yeah, free shipping, usually Walmart. Yeah, you know, and then you'll eventually get stepping stones up to a better machine as you go along. But if you want to start with anything, Singer is fine just as well. My very first machine in my life was a Singer. Um, but um, so, yes, you do not want to oil your machine. That's another rule. Use your pamphlet to know what you need to do. My husband has, a, has an air compressor. All he has to do, sometimes he just airs it out. Um gets that little lint out of there for me, but they have brushes and stuff like that too. Singers are very easy to work with, Cindy. Um, they're all pretty much similar. Um, it's just a matter of getting to know your machine. Kenmore, I haven't heard about a Kenmore in a long time. <laughs> yeah, once you know your machine, it you'll be, you guys are best friends, I promise. All right, so you guys want to do one more thing or two more things, the music and this, or do you want to hold off for next time? Yeah, it's crazy that they won't accept certain coupons for certain things, Meredith. That's ridiculous. Yeah, YouTube has amazing videos. If you don't, if you can't understand the concept of live and it's confusing to you, YouTube has great step-by-step -step, uh, videos. Like for instance, if you have a Singer machine, type it in YouTube. I have a Singer's blankety blank blank machine, you know, and how to use it. Uh, YouTube has great videos. All right, Julie says two more. 
Should I get anything like thread needles able to start sewing? I have no clue what I need. What kind of machine, Meredith, do you have again? Did you say you had a Singers or a Brothers? Two more, do you know? Okay. All right. So I'll do two more while waiting for Meredith's answer. But, um... <laughs> This here is one piece. It's not more than one piece. Brothers. Brothers is amazing. So does your machine automatically, you, did, Meredith, you didn't even open the box of your machine. Usually when you get a new machine, they offer bobbins. Um, I don't think they have thread. They'll have needles for you. They'll have all your parts. All you need to do is buy a spool of thread. If you have fabric already, you're all good to go. But usually when you buy a new machine, they usually have everything but the thread. So buy a thread. You could do a poly blend, cotton blend, it doesn't matter. Cool thing about Brothers, they're pretty universal, so. Yeah, the cool thing is if you're worried about what kind of thread you go, so when you go to your local Walmart, there's usually a person who works in that aisle. So usually look for the older women, just saying. But um, I'm, honestly, I use all kinds of thread types. If, if you want to learn how to use the right threads, because there's certain threads you want to use for paper, uh, silks, satins, uh, jeans, things like that. If you want to know your threads, I'd buy, if you're into the buying mood, buy a, a poly blend, buy cotton, buy nylon, buy, you know, buy a different type of thread, spool of each, try different colors, um, and then you can work with them. No specific thread you need, Meredith, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, each machine has different bun starts, um, different pedals, different types of things. Some have the, the, the spool on the side that you have to turn or stop uh, to, to get it going. Some you use your pedal. Some have the electric start and stop. So there's so many different kinds. Yeah, Corinne, that is a funny one. <laughs> Reread that sentence. Yes, just like anything. And before you know it, you're going to fall in love with your machine. You just have to start from the beginning. Plug the sucker in. Ooh, now you're talking there, honey. That's a good machine. <laughs> I love the German made machines, Swiss, German, um, but they're pricey, but you do get what you pay for. But if you want to start anywhere basic for what you guys are doing, start with the singer or a brother. The cool thing about vintage thread, yes, they're, the silkiness of them are beautiful, but there's a downside to vintage threads. I'm going to sneeze. Hang on a second, peeps. <laughs> Excuse me. This fabric got me. Um, is that rot some vintage threads have a rotting issue and um the vintage threads also have a tendency to be thicker than the norm of today so you have to be very cautious on how to use them and use your tension knowing to use them so some sew machines will not accept vintage threads especially in their bobbins when you wind them up because the thickness of it so oh marina is a good one Yeah, you just got to bring your machines out, dust them off, buy some thread if you don't have it. Um, I will bring out the basic supplies for what you guys need, even though we all have different kinds of machines. Yes, I love vintage and Swiss type of machines. They're my favorite, but they're pricey. So I love Faf. So I love my Faf machines. So. Um, oh, what was I going to say? Um. So yeah, we'll start with the basics and I'll teach you guys the basic things you need if your machine doesn't come with it. Yep, that's it, baby cakes. Yeah, let me go grab my machine. Since you're here, I could bring this up like this and then we'll do the two things. It's in a closet. We're apartment living, like I said, because we're waiting to uh, our house to be built. So I'm in one of the guest bedrooms stuffed with all this stuff. I'm going to go grab it off the shelf. Haven't brought it off the shelf in months. So let's see. All right. All right.
right, so this is mine. I, I'm very particular in how I package her. <laughs> I keep my original boxes and everything. Um, there you go. All right. Yeah, if you get a new machine, keep your stuff. Because just like a refrigerator or washing machine, you want to make sure that, of course, lint-free, dust-free, all those things. Get a cover for your machine. Protect your machine. Because if you want it to last, you want to take care of it. So that's important. All right, so what am I missing here? Um, yeah, <laughs> I remember that, Kara. That was funny. Wasn't that your bobbin? Yep, you didn't put your bobbin in right or the plate back right after you cleaned it. FYI, if you're in a clean machine, I don't recommend do it yourself. <laughs> that or have some kind of step-by-step -step instructions to do it because what you take out has to go back in exactly the way. I have mine professionally done. It's worth it. Find uh, your local Joann's. They have people who do it for you. Um, there's people in your area who specialize in it. If you've got a nice machine and you want it to last, um, have someone else clean it for you. Just thought. Gorgeous. Thank you. All right. Hope you're talking about my machine because <laughs> it is gorgeous. <laughs> All right, gorgeous. Let's come out of here. All right. Yeah, I keep my styrofoam. I keep my protectors. Uh, what I do. It'd be nice if you can to try to make sure that you have a cover. If your machine doesn't come with a cover, you can make a cover. I'm not to push this back, Sam. Um, make sure it comes with some kind of cover. If not, if you can't afford the cover, sorry, the Zoom kind of did its own thing. If it doesn't come with its own cover, you get a piece of fabric and kind of cover it up. So, hey, here's my baby, one of them. Mine, obviously, I don't have my pedal here, but um, pretty much just the basic machine. You know, mine has like the different tools, um, the pen, you know, where you do the thing. Um, but yeah, there's all different kinds. Every machine's different. The main thing is your tension. Most people tension, you have to do it yourself on a side kind of thing. Um, but uh, every machine's different. Every machine opens differently. You want to make sure your bobbins are done right. Um, we're going to have fun with this. So get your machines out. Yeah, pillowcase or some kind of, don't keep it in sunlight. I mean, just cover it up. Um, end of the day after you use it, um, just make sure it's cleaned off, dust off on those little lint kind of cloths kind of thing. Uh, makes a difference. So let me find a spot over here for my baby. Put this here. Let's move him over. So now you kind of have an idea. Um, I'll have my camera set up and everything for it so you guys can be able to see and know what to do. But um, not necessarily learning from mine, but um, how to. Learning your tension and things like that. If I have to buy some singers and brothers, I'll do that. And return it later. <laughs> Uh, yeah, fabric over it, um, easy. We'll learn how to do that together. I have a lot of good friends who do so on paper. I'm, I'm not, I'm new at the paper thing, but, um, I'm up for a challenge. I know, I know how to do silks, satins, wools, any type of fabrics you can think of. I could tell you what kind of needles you're going to need, what kind of threading you're going to need, uh, get your notebooks out. Um, I think if anything, uh, you need to get your uh, machine started. <laughs> and uh, paper is not uh, that difficult, I'm sure. It's the same concept. You just got to know your tension, the type of threading, and things like that. So, yeah, you guys will get it. I think it depends on what kind of paper you're using, what you're sewing on, depending. You know, you got to do some practice runs. Uh, different types of papers and then write down what kind of thread you used or what kind of tension you use per different types of papers. Yes, I don't suggest using glue. 
with needles. I know some people like to spray glue fabric together or spray glue onto fabric of the piece you're using and then you sew on that. The worst thing you want to do is to sew into something to have glue on it. But everyone's got their way of doing things. Uh, it might work for them, but everyone's different. So, All right, so let's go ahead and get these two things done because I know my man's going to be like, let's go out to eat or let's do something. And I've been on for over two hours now and I need to take care of that man. Yeah, it's brutal to your needles. Um, and not only that, think about it. Okay, so say this is your paper and this is your machine and your needle's going up and down into your paper. I know the visual is not a good one. <laughs> but, okay, so you got layers of glue in here. Here you're taking your needle, you're dipping it down in that glue and bringing it back up and it's feeding through up and down. It's only going to stick on the tip of that needle and it's not going to bust it or that thread's going to stick to that that needle because of the glue. Um, you're going to have the worst stitches of all. I mean, I mean, you might be able to do it with certain glues, but not suggested. However, Kristen, she does her pockets and she uses glue. So maybe she knows something we don't. We need to ask her. Yes, it can. Yeah, glue can be a... I don't recommend using your good machine with glue. I mean, if you got a throwaway kind of machine, go for it, but but there's other ways. Um, you just have to learn your machine and figure it out. So we're gonna we're gonna learn. So let's go ahead. Let's finish these last two things. I'm gonna finish this last piece of lace thing we got going on here. It's an actual tablecloth, and it's got staining on it. But it's I think it doesn't have a whole lot of staining. I mean, I see some spots here and there that look like. You can see that. So a little bit here and there, um, but it's huge. Da, ba, boom, get it down here. It's like a circular type uh, cloth. Here's the center. And then the outer is like this scallop. Yeah, so speaking of which, Diane and, and Kristen, they use glue. Um, you just need to clean it. There you go. So there's the lesson. I, I mean, honestly, I, I would never in my machine ever use any glues. I never use glues even when I quilt it. You know, some people use the spray glue to, to put the two fabric pieces together when they quilt. But um, I, I would not use my good machine. But if you have a machine you don't mind using it, go for it. But Diane and Kristen, they use it all the time. So I, they must know something I don't. But um, so this is like the other ones, but it's a huge tablecloth with some staining. So um, due to the fact that there is some staining on it, um, I was just going to ask only $5 for it because it's one you're going to need to cut up and go around certain spots and stuff like that. But there's a lot to work with, even if you cut out the scallops and things like that. Um, let's not say I, me, you, and tell and I'm sorry, Terry. Um, after I say ready, set, go, then we'll go for it. But just put it in your little bar again, and when I say ready, set, and go, then we'll go. But, um, so this piece, I'm going to measure it really quick so you guys know what size it is. It's okay, Terry. Um, so, um, if I'm going to go round, this thing is going to be, let me find the center. All right, there's the center. We are 36, 40, 50, 56, 57, 58 inches round. So it's a pretty good size. It just needs some leaven, um, and if you don't mind a little staining, that's all good here. So, I'm going to start the clock now. Ready, Terry, set, go. Last thing I see is, oops, by Terry. First person it says after that is Jaina, who says me in caps. All right, so I'm going to put this back in a bag. All right, so Jaina, it is you. All right, don't worry guys, I'll get more of these. So the more, don't feel so all bummed, because the more um, I get them, the more you might get an opportunity. So um, don't anyone cry on me here. <laughs> I'm always coming across this kind of stuff. So don't you worry. 
No crayon. <laughs> All right. Really, so your phone works better than the computer then? Because I'm using my phone and my computer's right here and they seem to be on time. All right, this is the last thing I'm selling. So um, I'm gonna get off here quick. I don't, not that I don't wanna be with you guys, I do. Um, it's been, like I said, past two hours. I know my husband and I would like to go do something with him tonight. I'm not sure if he's in the mood to, but either way, um, I've been depriving that man. I feel bad. Yeah, Gina, you got a good deal, baby cakes. Five bucks, you can't beat that. I just don't like selling something that's gonna have a bunch of standing on it. I want you guys happy and um, give you something affordable enough. Like that lace, that was a great price too. All right, so this here is a bunch of music pages. Now the edges are, um, some of them are just kind of slightly worn, but there's a lot of pictures on these. Look at, there's a lot of different, they're not complete. Um, this here says dreaming. This is really cute. I don't know if you can see that. Betty's in the house. Hey, that's okay, Betty. Betty, you're always busy. Here we go. Today, my inspiration was actually by Betty when it came to the fabric. So Betty, you get a chance to see the beginning of this video. I dedicate it to you because Betty is always good about giving me corrective criticism of what I need to do to do better. All right, so in this, um, so I thank you, Betty. Lots of music pages. Some of the corners are kind of ripped in some, but there's so many pretty papers. I just thought I'd just throw them all in there um, to where you guys can do something with them, even though it's like that's a little ripped, but look at the pages. There's a lot of beautiful pieces in here that can be used and restored. A lot of beautiful, look at that one. How's Betty dearest? How, what were you doing? I was so busy. This one here is cool. It says the ladder of roses, hip hop hooray. There's an elephant in the backdrop and it says the song success of K uh, the New York hippodrome masterpiece, hip hop hooray. Copyright, it's got Roman numerals. I don't even know what to say about that. Um, there's the Roman numerals. That's in there. Whatever that page is. This one says dreaming. Oh, that must go with her then. She says dreaming. So I imagine this page, dreaming, goes with this. Dreaming. Yep, dreaming, dreaming. Look at this one. See how it just needs a little loving? It's got some broken edges, but there's beautiful pages in here. Okay, what am I missing? Um, I know, isn't it beautiful? Not a problem, Meredith. That's what we're all here for is to love each other and take care of each other. Like I said earlier in this video, like each other's videos, subscribe to each other. Even if we are not big people out there, we all have times that we want to eventually be big. Like Meredith wants to open her shop. She wants to do her YouTube. Same thing with Cindy. So the only way to do it is if we subscribe and everything else to our shops, each other shops, like each other. So help each other out. That also helps if you do go live, like if I go live, that you guys know when I do. So look at all these pages. There's so many. I don't. I didn't even count them. And there's so many decorative ones as well. So I just want to get through these, and then well, I'll do the ready, set, go when I'm all done. Let me go ahead and get through them first. <laughs> Yes, so I'm gonna grab through here because I know you guys got a life here. So I mean, look at all these booklets and there's a lot that is just complete or not complete. Some of the most beautiful pages. I mean, there's gotta be 30 plus pages here. Um, a lot to work with here. All right, let me get through it all first. Yeah, there's so many here. I, I'm sure there's more than 30 or 40. Look at that one. Hey, Roxy. Thank you. Look at that. That's really cool. Um, some are complete. Some are not complete. There's just so many. There's like, here's a book here. 
I'm just gonna sell it all as a lot. I can't tell you how many are in here. They're just beautiful. Some have broken edges, some don't. Oh, look at that back of that one. That one's really cool. Almost reminds me of Christmas. Look at that one. See, the edges are kind of broken, but you have a lot of papers to work with, and it's thick enough. I think it'd be awesome to sew on. Speaking of sewing, and at the back of this, remember you guys, I showed you guys this before. It's an album that has like the photo type postcards in it. There's one page there with four. Um, it didn't sell that one time, so I figured I'll just throw it in here. They're like the photo postcards. Uh, there's more in there. I just don't know where they hang on here. I gotta turn a page or... Okay. <laughs> there's a lot in here. I just gotta turn a page here. Okay. But as you can see here, look, here's the box of one I just kind of took out. I just want to have a cool little... I'm gonna take it out of there. A the lady and her cow. I'm gonna turn page of kids. What am I missing here? Flowers. Yeah, look at that ink. That's that ink you dip and do. Um, let's see here. A house one's cool. So there's a bunch of postcards in here. I'm just gonna leave them in there. So it's gonna be $30 for it all. You got all these music sheets, pages, and a book with some postcards and everything. I think it's a fair price. So $30 for it all, ready, set, go, now. All right, so the first person I have in my feeds, after Laughing Dog Book Nook said really nice, first person who said it was Jaina, capital M-E. All right. Is there anything else I'm missing? Well, that doesn't help when you hit the wrong button, laugh out loud. <laughs> that is not a good thing. I know I have so much more to show you guys. I have a warehouse. So don't you worry if you feel like you missed out today. You didn't. There's always more stuff. So not a problem. You know me, guys. I like to surprise you with a bunch. Don't worry. I have a lot more music pages um, and a lot more things that I can um, put together for you guys. See, I like to grab your attention. <laughs> you didn't miss out. I'm sure there's going to be more. Don't you worry. Oh, it looks like Cindy's leaving. Bye, Cindy. No. <laughs> yes, one out to do. <laughs> Bye, Cindy. So don't worry, guys, you didn't miss out. Um, like I said earlier in the video, if you didn't uh, weren't here earlier, <clears throat> I shared with you in the shop, I have a bunch of the retro bundles put together, um, ready to order now. Just go to the shop, grab them, they're 15 bucks, and they're packed full of uh, goodness. So if you go back to the beginning of this video, you'll see what's in them. Um, I think there's only one left of these um, in the shop, the book covers. I added some sequence pieces in with it. Um, thank you, Tracy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm just glad you guys are having fun. I can't wait till we do the sew machine thing. I'll make sure I get it all put together about a week from now. So, so like I said, the retro junk journal kit, I haven't checked the shop. So I, when I first got on, there's five left. I have no clue how many are left. Um, there's one I got to add to the shop since Corrine bought one. Um, uh, so there's one that's not on the shelf. So don't worry if you guys feel like you missed out. If they message me, if you think that listing's down and there's not any left, message me because I know I have one left um, <laughs> that's not listed. Thanks to Corrine. <laughs> All right, whose birthday? Not a problem. Oh, your birthday's coming up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. All right, um, uh, thanks. Oh, Juno. Bye, Juno. Okay, I'm reading feeds here. Yes, please. I'll make sure I have a notification. That's another reason why I said subscribe to the channel, subscribe to each other's channels, like each other's face, uh, uh, our uh, 
YouTube pages, even if there are no videos on their pages, like them, follow them, subscribe to them. Same with me. So when I do these tutorials coming up here soon, you get a notification. Make sure your notifications are on. You might have to check your notifications to know. All right, so what am I missing here? Thanks for... Either way, the whole month is your birthday. <laughs> Remember? Uh, uh, Selena, and I need to buy it from Etsy. Um, Corinne, I'm not sure what you mean, baby cakes. No, no, don't worry about it, Corinne. So I'll just put one back into the shop. I always, uh, if I'm holding a kit for you guys, I always take it off the shelf so no one else can obtain it. So no, Corinne, don't worry. Not a big problem. Bye, Diane. Are you heading out, hon? I can't wait to get that junk journal. No hurry, no pressure. You got family to work with right now. So I can't wait to share off, you know, share, show off what you do. Like I said, those who don't know Diane, she's called Shawcraft in the feeds. If you click on her YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. She always has a bunch of different tutorials and new items that she sells and junk journals that she creates. So if you want someone to learn from, click on her. Un unpack. Oh, you're back already. Okay. <laughs> work, work, work. It's never ending, is it? Yes, Diane. And if you'll, I know you guys can't hear her voice, but she's got the cutest country voice ever. <laughs> That's stinking cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Well, I'm going to head out, guys. Um, that's a wrap. If you do, if you've got something today, message me and then let's chat. And if you didn't get anything and you just want to chat, just message me on Etsy. Um, I think my, uh, my, uh, let me think here. I think my, uh, my brain, bam, uh, my, uh, Gmail is on there too. If you want to chat that way as well, if you don't want to go through Etsy, um, feel free to message me. Yeah, I do too. I like the fact that we all can interact and learn something and buy something. So, um, hope we help each other out. So, <laughs> yes, Diane, your voice is gorgeous. So cute. All right. So again, before I leave, number one goal, if you like somebody, when you go into their YouTube live or their channel per se, like them, follow them you know, uh, subscribe to them, subscribe to their channels, very crucial. So you can be able to see whatever new things come up and they can share with you. So, um, Diane, I mean, there's a lot of people in here, even if you don't have anything on YouTube that you do like each other. I know I said that a lot today, but it's so important. That's important, Deb. I agree. Cause we are not alone. So I know a lot of time in our world, we feel that way. Um, it's just not true. No matter how many times you want to convince yourself you think you are, you're not alone. We're human beings. We're not perfect. And we're stinking cute, right, Diane? <laughs> All right, I'm doing that giggle. I've been learning not to do that giggle because it's not cool. <laughs> okay, I'm just... Trying not to do the giggle. I agree with Betty. And Betty's one to let me know that all the time. I agree with you. We are perfect the way they are. Even if our feeds are not on time. <laughs> Thank you, Corrine. It's always good to know that. Same same with me. I, I'm going to throw that offer out to you guys as well. You know where to find me on Etsy. Just message me. You got my, I think you got my, um, on the feeds below there. You should have my email too. So, how about it? Message me. We just want to chat. That's what we're all here for. So no one likes being alone. All right. Well, I love you guys. Um, it feels good to bring my sew machine out. It's been quite a while now and, uh, I'm itching to sew. Yeah. You don't want to get me giggling. <laughs> my husband dreads taking me to the movie theater whenever there's a funny movie because I can out laugh the entire theater. Literally, I'm not, that's not a joke. It's serious and it's embarrassing. Even our first date years, coon sage ago, is that the worst way to say it? 
raccoons age ago is the proper way maybe to say it but um he, he'll never let me down on that one so he dreads taking me to a funny movie I seriously laugh I can't hold back same to you hon I appreciate you guys as well so <laughs> yeah I when I laugh I do not hold back so <laughs> well you guys have a wonderful day um, I'm glad I got to provide some wonderful things for you guys and I'm very much looking forward to doing these tutorials with you guys um, is that the right word tutorial lessons I think is the best way I think tutorial and I think of when you guys say junk journal so it's not a junk journal it's just 101 sew machine not 101 throw it out the window sew machine <laughs> so uh, let's start falling back in love or a first time in love with our machines. So let's get those guys out. All right. Bye guys. And it has been, well, we're at 2.21. So about an hour and a half, two and a half hours on with you guys. So, <laughs> all right. You guys have, yeah, close the window. Rule number one. <laughs> <laughs> close your window you will not throw that machine out the window <laughs> I okay funny story before I leave I know I can keep going and going and going my mom had a waffle iron as a kid she used to make us waffles in the morning kind of thing you know what they did in the 70s yeah, mom and dad made <clears throat> not dad mom made breakfast once upon a time and uh the machine she swore the machine was the problem I just think my mom is my mom just can't cook. <laughs> she took the machine. To, you know, if you remember the old waffle irons, they are heavy as heck. And I remember once she she was stomping around, you know, grumbling. And she opens the window. It's like one of those like those panel windows that get on the way up. And she puts a stick in it so it doesn't fall back down kind of thing. And she takes the waffle iron. She goes, you piss up. And she throws it out the window like that was the end of the waffles. That's, I think, the last time I ever had a waffle. <laughs> anyways just part of my life story just don't throw your sewing machines out the window just saying <laughs> yeah that I guess I'm, that's why I don't ever go to a waffle house I think of my mom throwing that waffle iron out the window <laughs> alright so you guys have a good one have a good weekend. Well, tomorrow's Monday, work day for a lot of people. So uh, I had a fun time with you guys. Have a good one. Bye.